So, what's up guys? I have had the most unproductive weekend ever, which brings me to today, to, 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 to today's topic, which is the cost of ambition. Yeah. So, within the whole entrepreneur, business world, everyone praises motivation, ambition, drive. It's like everyone wants it. Everyone is just is longing for constant motivation, drive, ambition, all these things. Um, and it's made out to be just this incredible thing. So is entrepreneurship in of itself, in all fairness. Um, but you need to understand that with everything in the world, there is a price to pay. Um, you always have to ask yourself going into every, uh, any situation, what's the cost? Because there is always a cost. Um, look, if you want to get your health on point, there are cer certain sacrifices you're gonna have to make. Uh, if you want to get your finances order in order, there are certain sacrifices you have to make. If you want to smoke pot all day, there are certain sacrifices you have to make. No matter what lifestyle choice you go for, there are always pros and cons. And anyone who tells you that there aren't is misleading you or probably trying to sell you something, um, which I know a thing or two about. But um, look, cost of ambition. Um, as I said, in, in the whole entrepreneurial world, there are, by the way, I just picked up the iPhone X, little, shit, little plug. Uh, Pretty good so far. Did you guys pick it up? What are your opinions? Are you gonna pick it up? Let me know. Probably just throw that over there. Um, back to cost of ambition. Uh, cost of ambition. No one really wants to admit it. Um, everyone paints a picture that the whole entrepreneurial business thing. It's like all, all you do is you just you lie, you go to bed after a long day of hustling, of, of grinding, and because um, because you gotta grind because because that's what you do. Um, so, you know, you've, you've spent a whole day of back-to-back uh, -back meetings and coffee networking events, uh, and at the end of the day, you check your Stripe, and there's a $17,000 sitting in there from your day's passive income, uh, and then you have a protein shake, and you go to bed, and then you wake up, and there's now $27,000 in there because you, you make passive income, and you have an online business, um, and, and you make money online with your business <laughs> anyways um my point is it's made out to be this amazing thing in all fairness when anyone is trying to bring you into their sphere into their sphere of influence into their world they're gonna tell you about all the good things today i'm gonna tell you about the bad things uh, and this is uh this is uh sort of my perspective on things um i am a type a person uh that means for me it's not very hard uh, getting motivated. It's not it's not it's not hard for me to be motivated to get off my ass to do something uh, Now obviously it's taken years and years. I've funny funny enough. I'm, I'm coming near enough my 18th birthday now um, So I've still a fucking long way to go, but I'm, I'm near my 18th birthday now uh, and I've been in self-development since I was like 14 like it was crazy like I look back at some of my notes when I'm 14 I'm making like real estate notes and stuff like that uh, I've been reading a book a week thereabouts I've missed a few weeks but thereabouts for the past whatever three three and a half years so like you know I've been doing this a long time but my point is like I, I'm I don't have a tough time being productive being motivated stuff like that I have a tough time relaxing and I know that this you're like oh poor you Ivan. you're like you can only focus on success, boo. <laughs> but um, it comes with a it come, comes with its own costs, you know. So I, I guess I'm making this video for anyone who is just about to get into entrepreneurship, uh, has already just kind of started in entrepreneurship, or maybe you're deep within entrepreneurship, uh, balls deep, <laughs> and uh, and you feel like isolated. You feel like you're the only one this is happening to. Um, and yeah, so back, back to the cost of ambition. Um, you know, you're not gonna be able to keep keep and maintain close friendships, uh, you're gonna have a tough time getting a relationship, um, you are constantly gonna be stressed, you're gonna, out of anyone in the world, you're gonna have to really manage your stress control, uh, that's why I have an energy coach, a meditation coach, uh, I, I've been meditating a long time, but nonetheless, I still, literally this weekend, like, my, my, I've had to promise my business partner, I've had to promise my business partner, I've had to promise my girlfriend, and I've had to promise my mom, like, I, I, like, I will take one day off. And to me, even that day off, like, I'm fucking twitching. Um, like, uh, it was funny, you know, I, I had my day off yesterday, and um, I was spending the day with my girlfriend, and, like, literally, like, I, I, it's just, you know, you get this, like, 
dull energy. Like I, I was worried. Like I'm, I'm I legitimately like I take one day off and I'm like, dude, I think my business is like broken. You know, like, and you know, the, the, my girlfriend was like, literally like you made a couple grand, like two days, like you made 3K in one day or no, four, 4K all like two days ago. And then yesterday you made like a K and a half, like, please stop. Like, <laughs> you know, and um, so what you need to understand is uh, with everything, this polarity, you know, yin and yang, um, with ambition, there comes costs. Uh, which is most of the time your mental health like no one really wants to talk about it but of like entrepreneurs on average have the worst mental health um, like go look at any entrepreneur the sort of mental battle that they've had to go go through throughout the years is not easy it's not tough uh, I mean it's, it's yeah it's not easy it, it's tough it's it's fucking hard are you on the other side of this you are probably watching this and every single day you wake up and you experience one emotion which is i'm gonna fucking crush the day and then four hours later you're about to give up on entrepreneurship entirely and then seven hours later you're like i'm on top of the world i'm gonna change the world and then by the time you go to bed you once again you're thinking like why am i even doing this and that is the daily cost of entrepreneurship it's a daily cost of ambition you see because the problem is and someone for my, uh, for example, someone like myself, like I look at the micro rather than the macro a lot because I am a perfectionist because everything has to be just perfect. I have to constantly be pushing, pushing, pushing. I, there's one day where I'm not pushing. I, I forget the macro and I look at the micro and I go, okay, shit, everything's gone to shit. You know, at the end of the day, like you give, give anyone any amount of money Give someone any amount of money, any accolades, any success, nothing comes close to your mental health. Your mental health is the most important thing in the world, right? If you can tame what's in here, then you have, you're gonna have a good experience of life. You see, the thing is, most of the time, people who are uh, have gone into entrepreneurship, they do it out of scarcity. You do it because, fuck, you're, you know, you're done with living life on someone else's terms, you're you're done with having to rely on other people. So you go, okay, I'm gonna get into entrepreneurship, I'm gonna make my own money, and then I'm gonna feel abundant. I'm gonna feel like, you know, I, I, I create my own path. You know, and that's kind of how I went. You know, I, I had no money when I first started. Um, just me, my single mom, um, I wanted to take care of her, I wanted to take care of myself. I didn't wanna have to rely on anyone. Not that I was at the time, my point is like, <laughs> I just want a better for me and my family. And I thought, hey, shit, once I make some entrepreneurship, then I will start feeling abundant. I will start feeling like, I will feel, I feel relaxed. And I can honestly say I don't feel any more relaxed at all. I just feel more twitchy. Uh, but in all fairness, I, uh, you know, it's something I work on, blah, 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 obviously my personality type. But my point is getting into entrepreneurship. If you are in, for anyone trying to get into entrepreneurship, Understand this. Also understand you're, you You may not be as motivated as me. You probably won't get as good results as me. Um, but that's just because like, but then again, you also will be able to relax and chill with your friends in a way that I won't. I have incredible friends. If I, if I look at my social circle, um, if I look at the girls that, I, that I've been seeing, that I've seen in the past, like if I look at just the incredible people I have in my life, like just amazing people, I barely ever see them. Simply because I'm so, so focused on business and work, which is not ideal but unfortunately that's you know it's something i'm working on but it's it comes with the personality type and the same way that entrepreneurship it will thrust you into years and years of isolation years and years of mental just a literary mental war with yourself every single day again and again and it takes a toll and it wears you down now i don't mean for this video to deter you from entrepreneurship. I think it is the most beautiful process in the world. Um, I'm so fucking passionate about it. The fact that like, for me, entrepreneurship is taking control of your life and it is putting everything on the line for whatever it is that you believe in. Um, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And that like the, the fucking high that I've gotten from entrepreneurship and business is incomparable to anything else out there, but it comes with its toll. And that's, that's sort of the only thing that I want you to understand is I don't want you going into this thinking that, Hey, you know, I spend, you know, I buy a course or, uh, you know, I, 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 I learned how to do drop shipping. And then the next day I wake up and it's passive income, right? And, uh, or, or, you know, you, I don't want you thinking that you go into this and it's just, it's a quick fix, you know, because it comes with a lot of mental, 
mental wear and tear um, over the years. Now, as I said, everyone is different. I know people who are entrepreneurs who literally like they go through it so carefree and bless them, they can do that. You know, unfortunately I can't just, you know, my personality type. Um, there are certain people that go through it carefree because they just have the faith that everything is going to be okay. I think we all understand logically that everything's going to be okay. You will not end up homeless. It's as simple as you can. It's as simple as that. If you put everything on the line and you fail, what happens? You go work at Starbucks. Big fucking deal. Like if a worst comes to worst, everything, all of this shit fails and I work as a barista at Starbucks, I don't mind. Honestly, I just get free coffee. Like I probably spend like ten dollars a day on Starbucks, anyways. Like, probably saves me a shit ton of money. <laughs> you know. So, um, at the end of the day, we all logically know that things are going to be okay, right? But the thing is, with ambition, uh, you know, with the cost of ambition and motivation, is that you don't really. A lot of time, you can lose your logic in the emotions that you're feeling at that time, and. Um, that's just something that comes with it. And I guess that's just uh, my plea for you to, uh, if you're starting, to just understand it, you know, understand that it is, you know, as a, as a digital marketer, as an entrepreneur, uh, as, and as all the other entrepreneurs, you know, we, we like to show you all the good shit, you know, because we've worked so fucking hard. Like, we've worked so fucking hard to get where we are, you know, and I'm, I'm still honestly like, Considering my age, considering where you know my sort of back, my family background, the, the fact that I, that I haven't had a really I haven't really had much support, I, I've done very well. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm st I'm still just like a, a little speck compared to all these other entrepreneurs that have uh, that have done so much with their with their career, with their business stuff like that. Um, but you need to understand, like I work really fucking hard, like really hard. So you know when I try to show you the cool lifestyle and stuff like that. I guess, you know, for me, it's just kind of, um, number one, I guess it's inspiring you. And number two, I guess it's just my little moment to be proud and go, oh shit, like you have, you know, you've done something, man. And that's really cool. Um, so when you see all these entrepreneurs, you know, driving, driving their cars, um, going to all these expensive places, dressing in designer clothes, whatever, you know, whatever it is you like to spend your money on, um, buying the iPhone X, like whatever it may be, uh, when you see us doing this stuff, um, just don't, don't like, don't, uh, one of the best things that someone ever told me was don't envy the end product, envy the work that went into it. Right? So when you see your favorite entrepreneur, don't envy their car, envy, holy shit. I'm just like, just think about the amount of hustle and the systems and everything else that had to be put in place in order for them to drive that four, five, eight in order to, for them to walk away with that Bentley, that Range Rover, like that's what you should be thinking about. Right. And just remember that everything comes at a cost. Okay. Um, and that includes entrepreneurship and that includes, for example, me, the, the fact that I'm a very ambitious, very motivated, very driven. Um, and that's just something you need to understand. And, um, for anyone that is currently in entrepreneurship and they're going through these mental fucking battles every day, you know, it's okay. Because uh, we're all going through it and um, just, I guess uh, one of the hardest things is the, the feeling of isolation, thinking that you're the only one going through it. Dude, in all fairness, uh, one thing I've come to learn is we, none of us know what the fuck we're doing. We're just trying our best and going along and um, improving every single day. So I hope, uh, I hope you took something away from that. I'm not sure how long this is. It, it seemed pretty long winded, but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. There are lives every Tuesday. Thursday and Friday, I think, something along those lines. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or some shit like that. Point is, I'm going live three times a week. You get your answers questioned, you get your questions answered, um, and it's live, and it's awesome, and it's like a party. So go ahead and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it, so you can actually get your uh, all your questions answered, uh, and subscribe if you haven't, mean the world. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.